Hey guys, it's your boy 2-in-1. Thanks for watching my previous videos and thanks for liking them and having me get reached to 100 and something subscribers. That's that last video that I posted recently. And um, okay, so let me get to the point. Remember that one meet that it was, um, let's see how can call it. For this episode, I'm going to take off my drive shaft, take all the part and take out my transmission and my bell housing. All right, you guys, so I jucked up my car right now. It is literally on the, up there. Damn, these beefy ass tires though. So anyways, I put one of these here because I need access to go under there. But um, I'm gonna take off that drive shaft and from there I'm gonna move my way up there and yeah, let's get to it. All right, hopefully I'm recording the way I want it to. So. Yeah, this is pretty ghetto, but... right there so far I've taken off my exhaust pipes and my drive shaft and I think that's about it so far because I need to take out the tranny I need two people to do that and I'm gonna take out my headers later too so and put on my hood later probably Saturday or something but wish I didn't have that den right there a tidying behind that but whatever so to be continued hey you guys it's your boy two lifestyles one so we are going to the same part as I'm bringing down my transmission and so, so far we've been getting a little dirty, removing the, the headers. We're slowly removing it, once it's removed we're going to bring down the tranny and then the bell housing. So yeah, let's get to it. Alright you guys, so I brought down my whole tranny. Look at that. Brought it down, man. Just need the bell housing to get down. And I'll be set. I guess I'll make a part two out of this, but... Yup. Brought down the cross member that goes around the, the tranny. So yup, got some spillage, so I put on the rag, took off my shifter, ripped my boot by accident, but hey, you know, it's just a boot, not nothing special, and there, so far it's going good. Before, I took out the starter, and yeah, it seems like I kind of fried my whole clutch. You can see a lot of um, fibers on there from that clutch probably over um yeah I think I fucked up my clutch so alright you guys so I finally took out the bell housing and so far I have leakage I found out where my leakage is at so um, so it's by let's see if I could report it so up there let me put night vision up there so you see those six, seven, or probably six bolts that are from the flywheel. So we didn't put um, Teflon on there. And so it ended up um, leaking oil. So that's why I'm leaking for oil from my, from my engine to the bell housing, which was pretty bad because that kind of could cause some slippage. But anyways, I'm probably sealed that off with RTV gasket sealing. Um, here's my pressure plate. It looks in great condition and I kind of remember that's a ram so it's a pretty good pressure plate. This is a uh, great condition as well. So as you can see this is pretty damaged. It's all fucked up. It's pretty bad and yeah so far been doing a good job on everything and yeah hopefully everything turns out great. 
I might go to AutoZone, buy a limited, limited lifetime warranty clutch disc, what they supposedly say, and I think with that will be done. Take out my other side of my headers and call it a day, so. If I do not record again, thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and yeah, have a great day. Toyo Tires Blacklist. Um, this big event that happened around Brokaw Road, you know, around, it's by the Bay Area, if you guys don't know, but um, yeah, anyway, so around that time, I brought my car, you know, this one right here, I brought this one, that's all covered up, because I'll tell you what happened, so I did burnouts, I did all this crazy shit, I ended up hauling ass, I hunt some 60 miles, you know, in the freeway, and um, I guess my stock clutch wasn't really like um how can I put this this way my let's just say my instructor my mechanic instructor when he drove my car he noticed that there was a slight problem with my um clutch assembly so then once that night later that night I drove it and I was just booking it and right when I hit the clutch and shift to third Right when I put it in third, boom, the clutch is locks in gear, and grinding my gears, you know. So that was pretty bad. I was like, oh shit, I put it in neutral. And I was like, dang, what the hell happened? And so as I was going downhill, because it was near my house, going that down the hill, I noticed that, uh, I noticed that my clutch just sank to the floor, and I was just like, oh shit, I fucked up. It was a pouring day, it was rainy and it was windy. So I pushed it five minutes, I was like, you know what, I'm giving up. It's too fucking, fucking cold. So then after I pushed it, I noticed that once I turned it on, I've tried to put it in gear, it, it wouldn't happen. It's not gonna happen. So I turned it off and I was just rocking my car. And when I started realizing stuff, I noticed that when I rock it, you know how it just slowly rocks when you're having, when um, you're in neutral. So I just slipped it in first and luckily it worked. I slipped it in first, got it in gear, and now I'm actually, I actually drove all the way to my house in first gear, but I have long gears, so it's no worries. I drove like 30 miles and um, in high RPMs.